back to the next part of our falling object uh, tutorial that we're doing together. Uh, in this video, we're going to start looking at uh, how to do um, uh, scoring in our game. So right now in our game, when we play it, we can shoot our objects as they come down uh, and they go away, they explode, we added sounds, it's looking good. Uh, but now we want to actually be able to get some points here because this game is going to be point driven We're going to see how many points we can make uh, before we run out of lives So let's start setting up our points. All right, so the first thing we have to figure out or decide is how we're going to do our points First thing we have to figure out is um, What object is going to keep track of our score? So uh, in a simple game like this, uh, we could have the player keep track of his score uh, and his lives, or if we get a little more complex, sometimes we'll set up a game manager object that will keep track of all that stuff for us. I think we'll just stick with uh, the player keeping track of it in this case. So we're going to want our player in a script um, to have uh, a, a variable here for his score. So let's go into our player script. And let's make a variable up here at the top. We'll make it a public variable so we can just see it happening in the inspector for now. Normally with things like score, you might want to um, make those private so that uh, somebody can't, you know, just kind of accidentally change the value of your score from somewhere else. But uh, score is going to be a whole number, which will be an integer. And we'll just call it score. So this is the player's score. Alright, so this is going to hold our current score as we go through. When the game starts, we're going to want to make sure that score is zero. We don't want to give anybody any free points here, so let's just set score equal to zero. And then now we have to think about at what point have we actually scored a point. Alright, so we're playing our game, we're firing bullets, and when a bullet hits one of those falling objects, it blows up and moves, and that's also the point where we uh, have scored a point. So we're going to get points by shooting those falling objects. Okay, so that means that we have to um, uh, go to where we know that collision has happened between the bullet and the falling object. So if you remember back to how the project has been set up so far, that's happening over here in our falling object script. Down here in the falling object on trigger enter, this is where we know we've had a collision between a falling object and a bullet. Right now we're removing the bullet and we're making the explosion and cleaning up after ourselves, get rid of that explosion. This is the point also where we would score some points. Score points. Okay, now the problem is that we want to score points here, but our points variable is in a totally different script over here in our player script. Okay, So we have to have a way of the, having the falling object script here tell the player script over here to add some points to their score. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, um, there's several ways to do this. So we're going to set it up uh, in a way that I think would be a little more understandable or simpler. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, set up a function inside of the player script here that will handle adding points. And then we're going to have our falling object script here tell our player to run that function uh, whenever points are scored. Okay? So let's set up the function first over here in the player script. So a uh, brand new function. Let's just kind of put it down here at the uh, bottom. we got to make sure that we are outside of our update function. So our update function ends right here with this curly bracket. So let's go down and make a, a spot for a function. This function will not return a value, so it's just a void function. And we're going to give this the name, we'll call this uh, score points. And then we're going to set up the body of our function here. And then uh, score points is going to be called. So let's make a little note up here above this to help us remember what we're doing. All right, so. Uh, score score points will be called from the falling object. Let's make that the same as I spelled it there. Falling object script when 
a collision occurs, let's make it a line here, between a bullet and the falling object. Okay, spell object correctly here. All right, so that's when score points will be called, okay? So when score points is called, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to add points to the score. All right, uh, so that's what we want score points to do right now, this is add points to the score. So we're going to, um, just for for now, we'll make it so that all the every every time we hit a falling object, it's the same amount of points that we're going to be adding. All right, so we're going to say score plus equals, and let's just say we get one point every time that we that we score a point here. Okay, so every time we hit a falling object, we're going to call score points from that falling object. And we're just going to add one to our score. Okay, so let's uh, just do that for now. We'll we'll swap this out with something a little more fancy later on. But for now, let's just set this up see if we can get it to work. So I've got a function here called score points. Every time I call it, I'm just going to add one to score. Remember, plus equals means uh, add whatever is here, the one, to the variable score, and then just store that new value there. It's the same as writing out score equals score plus one. All right, so we've got that all set up, ready to go for score points. So let's save this script. Now, what we're going to need to do is be able to tell the player to run this function score points whenever a bullet hits a falling object. So over in the falling object script, where we already identified the place where we've scored a point right here, we're going to do uh, something called sending a message to the player. So the first thing we need to do is we actually have to make the falling objects aware of where the player is. So we have to have a way of storing a link to the player. Um, and uh, sometimes we call that caching a link. But we're going to make a variable up here at the top of the script. And we'll just call this a public. And then what we're going to do is just give it a game object. And this is going to be for our player. Okay, This is going to hold the link. So this will hold a link to the player. All right, so we've got a spot to, to set that up. There's a couple of ways we can actually fill this variable. We could do it with some code here in the start function where we go out and have the code find the player and establish a link, or we can go out into the inspector and do this. So I think we'll do that out in the inspector for right now. So I'm gonna save the code. Let's go out here to Unity. Let's go to our falling object here and let's look in this code and right now see we've got a link here we've got a, a variable spot for my player so if I grab my player from the hierarchy here and drag and drop him in here player in my falling object script now will be linked to my player game object my player game object has the script on it player script and inside player script we have the function we want to run score points Okay, so hopefully you kind of see the flow of information here. So falling object now knows about the player. We've made a, a, a connection to the player there. So now that we've got the connection here under player, down here where we want to score points, we can say um, player dot send message. And then we got to give it the message to send. Now this says we need a string that's our method name. Okay, name of the method to call. Method and function are kind of the same thing. So basically, I need to give it the name of my function as a string. Whenever you see string, that means you got to put it in quotes because string always is in quotes. And the name of my function was score points. I've got to spell it and capitalize it exactly like it is here. So let's type that in. Score points. And then I'll put a semicolon there at the end. So when we hit a bullet, we're going to send a message to our player object that says, hey, score points. What send message will do is it'll tell the player object here to find a function or a method called score points in one of its scripts. So we have one here, and it will cause that to run. All right, so now we have a way of the following object to say, hey, you've scored a point, player. Go ahead and give yourself a point. Player script will catch that message and say, okay, 
I'll give myself a point then. Job well done. All right, let's uh, test this out and see if this works real quick. So over here, let's watch the player and his script their score. And when I hit play and shoot one of these guys, let's just see what happens. Okay, so I paused it here. You notice when I shot that uh, falling object, I've got a point. So let's, um, first of all, let's go in here and just turn down our volume a bit here. Let's just kind of duck that down some so that we can actually um, hear what we're doing here. And we'll go back to our player, and let's see if I can get another point. So watch the score right there. All right, let's see if I can shoot another one of these guys. Whoops, I missed. Let's try again here. Okay. I hit two, that's three, that's four, how do we do? And look, we have four score. So every time I shoot one of these, it's sending the message and it's giving me a point. All right, so that is uh, a real simple way of scoring a point here, getting it to add one each time. So, but let's say that we want to make our game a little more fancy and we want to be able to score different amounts of points, maybe for different types of objects that fall. Or maybe we want to have uh, something in place where if we, the, the sooner we hit an object or the closer it is to the top and we shoot it, we get more points. You know, something a little more uh, interesting than just scoring one point for each object. Well, that's what we're going to look at here next. All right, so in order to score more than just one point or different amounts of points, first thing we're going to need to do is score points is going to need to know how many points it should add to the score. Right now we're just adding the one. So let's put uh, an argument up here, uh, which is just a variable that we use to pass information to a function. Uh, and we're going to pass it an integer. And this is called this points to score. Right, so we're going to uh, send this function now an integer value every time we call it. We'll store that under this variable points to score and then down here instead of scoring one we'll actually add however many points uh, we want to score. Just like that. So this will give us some flexibility in how many points we should actually uh, score each time we call score points from our falling objects. So I'm going to save this script now over my falling object script, these falling objects need to know how many points they should send. Okay, so here's where it's sending the message score points. If I don't send an amount now as an integer, I'm going to get an error because uh, score points function now requires us to send it uh, an amount of points. So what we can do in our falling object is we could make a variable up here that holds how many points this object is worth. So we can make an integer here. We'll call it points. Uh, and this is the number of points this object is worth. Okay? And we could make them all the same. We can make them all different. We could do all sorts of things here just to. Uh, make it some randomness. We could come up with a formula based on the speed. Uh, you know, like the faster moving ones are worth more points. All sorts of things that we could do. Uh, let's save this script though, and let's go out to our falling object here in Unity. Here's my falling object in its script now. We've got points, and right now it's set to zero. So let's say I want this one to be worth five points. I could just set a five right here. And now when I shoot this object with a bullet, and the bullet hits, it's going to send the message to player score points. And now I have to put a comma and tell it how many points to send. So that's going to be my integer variable that I just put up there, which was points. So I'm going to send it points. In this case, that'll be a 5. That will come over to the player script here, and that 5 will get stored right here in points to score and score will go up by five points so let's save all that and let's go out here and test it out we're going to click in on our player so we can watch his uh, score variable here and let's play and shoot and let's pause that so you notice when i shot that falling object i got five points okay if i was to go and um, shoot him again now i've got ten points 
15 points, 20 points, and so on. So now instead of just adding one, it's adding five. And that amount it's going to add is based on what um, this points variable is right here in my falling object. So there's lots of things we could do with that, but that's how you can actually, um, an easy way to call a function from one object uh, that's on another object and have it uh, do a job for us, like scoring points. So that's pretty much it for uh, points in our game for right now. So hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any questions, please uh, let me know. Give me a comment below uh, or um, contact me in some way. I'd be happy to help you out, and uh, I hope you're enjoying the videos.